Hey guys, welcome back. It's Akadis, and in today's deck review, I'm going to be reviewing the Bicycle Dream deck in silver. Now, there's also a gold edition that I have reviewed, and they are actually brought up by Card Experiment, a very, very cool little company um, that I always review for because they've got some amazing decks, and they've always exceeded my expectations. Now, this deck is, and uh, they've made decks such as the Babel, the Utopia, and other cool decks. Now, the deck's basically of a dreamy style, like, you know, real and unreal. And what I like is it has an aristocrat stock and a magic finish, so it's a really great combination. So it goes to a, a ver together very, very well. It has very thin borders that does make for an impressive fan. It was produced in 2014 and only 2,500 were actually produced because it was a limited run. So there was only a limited amount and they will not be reprinting them. But as you can see straight away on the tuck case, it has bicycle and a nice graphics just there. And it has the word dreams in a 3D text. And as you can see, it looks like you're in a bird's eye view seeing a surrounding area. So you have some buildings and you have some like uh, cool little patterns going on. And it has like a silver design. On this side, it continues as well. There's no text, just houses and different shapes to confuse you. It feels like you're in a dream. It feels like it's confusing. It's very like real, non-real. And same on the other side. So it continues on both. So if you have it like that, it looks really cool. And same this side as well. So it's quite a unique deck. And it's also on the top. So really, really cool. It has the same lines of a red USB-C seal. On the bottom, it does even continue. And I think that's really cool. They've got the Carl Experiment logo and the information just there. And then you get the back design and it features a nice white border going around and it is a mirrored design. As you can see you have the corks, sorry the screws and the bolts, the really kind of interesting looking design with the idea of it's meant to look quite unrealistic and very not what you're used to looking at. But all around a very very cool little tuck case, even when you pop the tab it has some nice little copper information just there and there's information just on the tuck and just the uh, tuck continues with the design. Would have been nice if they continued it inside as well but they did not. But let's have a look at what the deck looks like inside. Okay, so when we get on with the deck itself, you can see the back design, as I mentioned, has an extremely thin border, but it continues with the silver look as well, the silver and black colours that it has. It has the corks, the screws just there, has like stairs going, it's really optical illusion back design. Makes a very interesting kind of fan, as you can see, if I do a fan, it looks quite interesting in the design aspect. But then you get onto the cards you get. Now, you do receive two uh, cards. You receive a double backer, always useful for magic. I highly recommend one of these. And you also receive a card experiment, exactly what you got on the tuck case, but a little bit smaller than out, the, um, just an advertisement card for their website. Then you get the two jokers. Now, you receive a black one and a silver one. And what I like is they're very ununique and they're very different. So it is unique, but it's like, it's really weird, like it's clown and it's a bit freaky with the way they've designed it. And that's the point, it's meant to be dreamy because dreams sometimes are weird and fun. Sometimes they're like, what the hell was that? And sometimes you can't even remember. Just especially if you have alcohol as well. Uh, and then you have the custom pips because it is quite a fully custom deck. You have the Ace of Spades and then it has Dream with this really, uh, like you have the wood coming off the certain surrounding um, objects it has in the ace. It's a really detailed ace, a quite a stunning one in the fact of it has dream and even with the kind of futuristic um, font that they've got going on. Even with the rest of the pips, you can see the two, the three, the four, the continuing the whole way through, they're all custom and that's what I really dig. And even when you get to the royalty, yes, they're kind of custom, but they've been changed colour and I like it. It goes well with the deck. They're simplistic, just like the deck is aiming to be. And even with the hearts that's work, continues with the custom heart there, with the gold little edging in the inside, but the colours for these are nice. The green and the turquoise really stand out to me. And it continues the whole way through, even when you get to the ace. And what I dig with this is you also get four custom aces. So as you can see, you receive a custom ace there that's really, really cool. And it happens with the clubs as well. The colours, the colours change and they look beautiful. And it goes the whole way through and then you get the custom ace of uh, spades then you get the diamonds as well and I think that's a really amazing looking deck just from the, the fact of that I don't want to go too long on the deck because I want yeah, I don't want to spend too long on the review anymore. I want to make it smaller and shorter and try and compact as much information but spend less time on it. So let's have a look at how it handles. So for dribbling wise, as you can see in springing, sorry, springing with the deck is very easy. The aristocrat stock and the magic finish make for a superb deck of cards. 
just by the hand and your style, you can tell this deck is going to be a great one to add to your collection. Just by the style of it and the look of it, it is a really amazing deck, one of my favourites. Even with the fanning and even if you did a giant fan as well, it's so easy with this deck, it has no issues. But look at that, it is just amazing and even just doing a one hand ripple shuffle or attempting is not as difficult as you would think with this deck. It's quite a smooth stock but a really decent stock in the fact. Now we can do, as you can say, Charlie 8 cuts, um, that is not, that's a Charlie 8 cut, sorry. Uh, and you can do certain flourishes, like the one I like to do now. But it's in a cool little deck of cards, and I really recommend it. And I think, overall, it's a deck to pick up. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, just down there. Click subscribe, just up there, and check out previous video, just up there. Make sure you pick one of these up, card experiment, link in the description below. That's it, I'll see you guys. Tuesday. See you then. Goodbye.